In this quick video guide, we're going to see Adobe Photoshop Express, which is a kind of smaller um, version of Photoshop. If you're interested in a full version, you will find uh, other guides and courses in the channel. But uh, for this one here, we're just going to go here to Adobe. Uh, we're going to search for Adobe. Well, don't uh, confuse it with Adobe Express. This is called Adobe Photoshop Express. So we're going to talk about Adobe Express in another guide, which is uh, uh, a web application. So it's, gonna, it's running entirely on the web. Now for Adobe Photoshop Express, you can download it in a desktop version for Windows or Mac, or you can download it also for Android, so for smartphone, and also other devices that support this uh, software. So it's smaller and in a way easier and uh, faster um, program or software that you can use to do color correction and adjust and improve your uh, photos, your pictures, and you can then uh, share them on uh, social networks like Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Now to get Photoshop Express, uh, you need to go in the Adobe website, you need to have an account, and this is also totally free. So uh, yeah, this is Adobe Express. So let's just go back here. Let's look for Adobe Photoshop. Express. Don't confuse the two. And this one here is the editor. So uh, you can use the language that you want and you'll find all the information right here on how you can use it and like some examples also that are really uh, useful. Uh, well, to download it, uh, we just need to search it in the Creative Cloud website. So um, there you go. No, that's Adobe Express again, and well, they're a little bit confusing, but let's go here in all products, and I'm just going to search it in here. So I'm going to type Adobe uh, Photoshop, and we should see it around here somewhere. There you go. So this is Photoshop, which you can try it with a free trial. You can buy it, and this is like the complete software where you'll find all the tools and uh, artificial intelligence. It's really the most popular graphic design software out there. And that's the Photoshop Express, which you can see is not like uh, for sale. So you can just download it. And in my case, I've downloaded for Windows. So I downloaded here from the uh, Microsoft Store. So just click here and install, and that's it. Now, another possibility, and there it is. So it's already open. Now, another way you can use it is, and you can install it and uh, open it, is through Creative Cloud. You can do it online on the Creative Cloud website, or you can download the Creative Cloud application. And I just want to show you quickly that uh, right now I'm using After Effects, but together with After Effects, I also got Photoshop Express to install it and open it here directly in the Creative Cloud, and also other stuff like Media Encoder and Premiere Rush. So you have like a smaller software that usually come with the, uh, a package in, uh, if you buy and go in uh, Creative Cloud, some bigger products. So once you spot it, you can just open it and there it is. It's a really, really simple software. There's nothing, uh, you know, it's too complex here. Just decide if you want to get a picture from the library, a photo, or you, you want to shot directly with your camera if you have a camera on your device. Now, in this case, I'm going to go with the library. So I'm going to click here and you see I have some pictures. So I'm just going to select this picture here and I'm going to open it. And once I have the picture, I can start to manipulate it. So you have like this. Uh, well, the first thing, actually, if you go up here on the top right, you can just make uh, the auto enhance the side for you. So you can see it's going to decide the contrast, the colors. If you want a warmer look in this case or you want a colder look and and so on. And here you can also retrieve the original. You can see if you want to stay with the original or if you want to apply the um, effects. And also you can zoom right here. You can save and share. So you can save it in your computer. You can share it with your social network. Again, YouTube, Instagram, wherever. And then you have other options if you click on these three dots. Now on the left side, that's the more um, interesting part. And this is where you can apply, you know, just filters. So it's like applying filters on Instagram or applying filters on 
um, Facebook or other uh, software like TikTok, whatever. And you have a bunch of set things here, which are presets for you. So all you need to do is click apply and that's it. Some of these, they simulate like old pictures. Some of these, they simulate uh, black and white and, and so on. So you have all this stuff you can test. Just it's a, a quickly uh, adjustment uh, to your picture with uh, you know movie or nature pop and all these different types there you go so this is like isolating the red in this case which is kind of interesting effect and what else so let's continue we can go here and crop and rotate so i can rotate i can flip it i can straighten the photo if it's you know not perfectly horizontal you can change the aspect ratio, for example, like to square, or you can just do a free size crop. So if you want to crop just part of the image, I'm going to go for this for the square here. And I'm going to make it this a uh, little bit bigger. Like this. And there you go. Now like, we can just let me see also if we have a, a, an horizon. Left. That's fine. And also let's continue here. We have other adjustments so we can work with the exposure we can work with the contrast so make things more with more contrast highlights so make it make the, the image darker or brighter uh, increase the shadows increase the whites increase the blacks and so on and then you have again coloring if you want to apply here you want to work with temperature, tint, vibrance, saturation. Now, if I want everything black and white, it's just going to desaturate everything. Or if I want to adjust this really strong red, I'm just going to like decrease it a little bit because it's, this is kind of orange actually, is, but I want to decrease it. So you can work with the colors, you can work with the mid-tones, the darkness, the dark areas, the shadows, the lights. And then you have other effects here like uh, glowing and grain and vignetting also i really like so you can make it white vignetting you can make it black vignetting this is a really uh, popular also uh, camera effect and also change here the midpoints and details so you can um, make the, the image sharper and you can also make the reduce the luminance that you can reduce the noise you can reduce the noise from the color from the luminance and you can also like apply noises sometimes so you can apply you can apply grain and other stuff so split tone again just you know you understand now how it works also want to play a little bit with the blur so you can blur everything here with the full blur or we can just do a radial blur and so i click and drag with the left mouse because I want to place something more in focus here. So this is like the, the larger area and this is the, the smaller focus area. And let's just increase the, the focus here. So you can see now everything outside that area is going to go into defocus and the rest is going to go more on focus. And let's move on here. You also have like quicker healing, like spot heal. Uh, so if you increase the size, you can just click here and like hide some of the video you don't want. And it's going, it's not going to work always properly. This is good when you have like a small defect, like a scar or a spot that you want to remove. And it doesn't work with like larger areas. Let's like remove this little spot. And I think it, I need to go even smaller than that. So you, you need to adjust the brush size and then you can just try to like... Uh, hide defects on the scene essentially and um, then you have red eye removal for people and pets if you have red eyes effects and here again other you see basic uh, effects that you can apply like beveling and uh, using a mask like a circle or using like a polaroid effect and using you know uh, other type of edges and crops and um, let's see what else and you have also frames so you can apply like 
frame around your picture. Well, that's basically it. nothing uh, more than this. It's a really, again, simple, quick, and easy uh, software to use. You also have some uh, options here if you want for the quality and uh, the, the image. And that's it. So um, this is going to be it for this uh, quick video, guys. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. Check out other courses and videos in Photoshop and other Adobe software, but also uh, 3D and video and many, many more. And please subscribe if you want to stay updated for other video guides and also join if you want to support us. And see you in the next video.